Whip it. Now watch me whip. Kill it. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. Everyone, welcome back to another part of the Orphanage Challenge. This is part nine. I figured it out. So people are waking up at like one in the morning, and I'm like, mm 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 mm. Just calm. Look at how cute she is. Oh my god. Okay. Well, since you up so early, if you want to be like a normal person and actually get ready for school, we can have her come use the bathroom. Hopefully, this works because I have some got some content. Not some content. I have some new objects on over here, so. Let's go see if this works. Oh, it does. So weird. Look, there's no shower. Look, guys, no shower. <gasps> Never mind, there is one. Alright, I honestly just filmed part eight. So, like, why don't we. Psych self up. And then. Come in here and I don't know. What does she need to do? Draw two pictures while inspired. Okay, well you're not inspired. So can we take a shower that makes you inspired? Yes, take a thoughtful shower. Thank you. Alright, so now she is not inspired. Awesome. Awesome. Take another one. Keep doing it, girl. You need to become thoughtful. Just keep showering. Just keep showering. Na, 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 na. Well, if you don't want to, then come on over here and play some music, and then we can draw pictures once you become inspired, which will probably be never. Oh god. Poor baby. You become she's confident though. See she's not making you okay. Be confident in your music. You believe in yourself. Oh my god, this is funny. This is hilarious. Okay. You awesome. Get up and serve some breakfast for everyone. Serve some eggs and toast. Sorry if you can hear my dog. She's like chewing on her bone and she's being like such a oof. And when you're done, you can come repair the sink that you broke. I'll mop all this up. Monty can get up. Use the toilet. Brush his teeth. And grab something to eat. So you don't have any food. I just not to realize that. Courtney is still asleep. That's fine. Chastity can get up. She needs, definitely needs some fun, so we'll have her go downstairs and use the family computer. Yeah, she can come use this over here. Let's play some Sims Forever. I could never play Sims with people right behind me. No way. And Arthur can get up and go grab something to eat this morning. Monty, I told you to grab something to eat. Thank you. Bridget gonna make them pancakes. Henry is gonna come fix this sink for me. I like how she picked the pan up, poured it in a new pan, and put it in the same spot. Same. Okay, you and Michelle can stop. Get a little extra of sleep in there since you did wake up around 1 in the morning. It's because you put your violin in the way. Nice smooth. Sleep just for a little longer. And catch back up on that sleep. Then you can come on in here and brush your teeth. And then grab something to eat. Awesome. Henry. Grab a serving of this. Oh, look at them eating all breakfast in the morning. How cute. How cute is this? Oh, they don't look so happy though. Never mind. It's not that cute. Did you really have to? S Why did they do this? Put it in your inventory. It's that simple. Um. Did Courtney wake up? She did. She's gonna actually. No, 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 no. You're gonna come in here. 
and you're gonna I love this house like it's just so well done for this challenge like there's literally a girl's like this is this is their coloring they did a boys room to be on a boys bathroom to me and then a girl's here and then it just felt and there's a boys room and a girls room and there's a baby's room it just fits so perfectly and like the downstairs area here it was just a nice setup the only thing you didn't have was the whole basement area, but I added all that in. I added, you know, the jacuzzi and all this here and whatever and the equipment stuff. After that, we're gonna have Bridget come out here and maybe um, oh my gosh, water everything. Don't be mean to your son. Henry is gonna grab some breakfast. Chastity, you can stop playing. Grab some breakfast too. I know it's hard to stop playing Sims. She's going to grab... Oh, this thing's broken in here, too. Alright, after that, you can come repair this. I like how yesterday, in the last part, we were, like, trying to see all the things, clean up the house, and then today everything just gets destroyed. Same. Alright, she's eating her breakfast. Great. You didn't brush your teeth, girl. Don't be sneaky like that. Don't do that. I, I know. Troy like me, I hate brushing my teeth, but I have to do it, so you gotta deal. Even though I hate it. I'm gonna throw that in the fridge. Oh, he's gonna clean out that for us. Great, great, great. We all have school today. Meaning we can meet some new people and hopefully find someone for um Chocity, who has the what trade again? Goofball. And we need to find someone that's gluten. Awesome. Awesome. Henry's about to age up into an adult in two days. Whoa. How about us? We have a while to go, actually. Um, why don't you come empty this after that and clean up around the house a little bit more? They're all eating breakfast. This is cute, too. I think it's so cute when all the families, like, eat together. Look at that smile they're giving to each other. How adorable. How adorable. Alright. Thumbnail, guys. Okay. Turn this off because you guys don't need to be watching that. Who was watching it? Oh, Arthur. Hi. But you don't need it anymore. Tell me you did your homework, right? You did. Good job. Good job. Um. Oh, someone started following me. Awesome. Alright. Muncie, it's just doing that. That's cool. That's fine. Bridget, how's it going? Okay, you need to actually weed this stuff too, so you can empty that later, and then you can actually harvest everything and sell that. And then she does need a little bit of fun, maybe. So we'll come watch some. Cooking channel. Arthur's off to school. Okay, they're all off to school. Chocity. There she goes. Henry, do you work today? You are working about six hours. He needs to actually work out a little bit. So we're going to have him come do that for us. Actually, can you do a no sweat run? Thank you. Um, Bridget. Cool. Let's see what she got. And we'll sell those apples for 30 bucks. And we'll hop on over here. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to... We can actually get Kirsten adopted today, which is, I know it's kind of fast, but we could. And then we could also get Courtney out today. So we'll do one of them today. And then Chastity, we need to find... Um, ask the friend. Hide out. Do it. Best PE ever. Yeah. Because I'm awesome. That's why. Okay, so we pretty much know all these people. That's kind of why I've been traveling to other places. So we are here. Let's see who's actually here. Um, we're, we'll just go to the bathroom really quickly just so we don't have to when we're talking to someone, you know. So it looks like honestly no one's here yet. No way. Alright, if you guys are watching my Ashby Legacy, he made these. This, this legacy was a very long time ago. 
Darius. You remember him? He made those. They're still sitting here. They haven't spoiled. Oh my god. Alright, it's 10 a.m. I don't know who would be at a burger joint at like 10 a.m. Robin. Since she works here, let's do a funny introduction to her, maybe. She didn't go to the bathroom, but that's okay. We'll do a nice introduction. What if Anna... This might be weird, but let's have a friendly introduction with her. Just a bunch of ladies here. Awesome. Let's, um... Talk about career. And get to know her. And... Oh, she's really good at that. Whoa. And then we'll talk to Anna here and ask about her career. Let's see how she's doing because she was dating Lindsay, right? As a child. I don't know if they still are because Lindsay's still a teen. So we're going to get to know. Get to know. She's romantic, uh, Robin here. She's popular. Awesome. Anna is a babysitter. She's hot headed. Mm hmm. Self-assured. Well, since we're here, I guess we could just order a drink. I mean, we'll order it sweet and spicy. Uh, then let's... Yeah, okay. What's up? Oh, we don't know one trait about her. Let's see if we can figure that last one out. I know she's a single mom, actually, I think. Um, get to know her. She's only orientated. Okay. So let's go see if there's anyone else in here. Not that I can tell. Oh, hi, we don't know you. Yeah, yeah, let's come talk to you. Let's do a funny introduction. Don't wait for your drink, it's okay. How long have these been here? Newspaper stands, guys. Newspaper stands. Just okay, we're gonna have a funny introduction. This is cute. We're having like a girls group date with random people. I like it, I like it. Okay. Let's ask about her career. I think this girl's married to him. It's almost Henry's birthday. Happy birthday. We'll get to know her. She is a journalist. That's cool. She's neat. Okay. And a bookworm. Um, we'll go over here and also um, go gossip with Miss Jenna. Uh, what are Miss Jenna's traits? Cheerful family and traits. So. No one's a goofball or gluten. Alright, stop talking to her. We need to know your other traits. Woman, don't walk away from us like we are nothing to you. Um, discuss your interest. Talk about fashion because don't leave. Okay, so we know she's bookworm, neat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go pee. Right after that, go to the pee, please. Go pee before you pee your pants. And then we're going to see if there's any more people just kind of walking around, you know. Okay. Um, oh my god, it's so pretty out here. Oh my... I like what you did there, Sims. I like what you did there. Alright, let's see who's down here. 
Just some people we already know. Great, great, good, great. Oh, who are you? You look new. Oh, I like your style. She be swagger. Okay, let's go do a cheerful introduction. So this girl, what's her name? Randy Manning. Awesome. Let's go for the introduction to her. Cool. Let's um ask. Don't ask something out. Sorry about that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's. We look like a freaking weirdo. Okay. Let's get to know her. Ask about a career. Let's get to know her. And discuss our interests. So Courtney with the C, 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 C. Oh, wait, crap, what was that trait? Oh, I'll just look here. She's an art lover. Awesome. Okay, I can hang out for a bit. Oops. And she's clumsy. Cute. Discuss your interests. I need someone that's gluten or paper. Can anyone have that trait or is it just so so difficult? <laughs> Tell an engaging story. Best about family. Joke about fashion. Discuss like games. Okay. Oh, and she's family orientated. The one trait we never need anymore because everyone has that trait. Okay, let's see if there's any more new people. Just this place is so pretty. Willow Creek is a bay. Oh, you are cute. Okay, let's do a triple introduction to him. Please. I know you're bored. So go talk to this nice man over here. He may definitely want a nice some attention from you. Don't walk the other way. Don't do that to yourself. Introduce yourself. Or don't, because he's... No, he's... He's walking away. You have to find someone else to talk to. <laughs> this is Nancy. This is Nancy. Dang, he was cute, too. That guy's a teen, so we can't really talk to him. Oh, are we gonna? Okay, we already know. We're gonna go talk to him. Yay! Speed it up, girl. I know he's a mailman, so. Cool. Let's ask about his career. And get to know him. Yeah, he's a mailman. Get to know him. It's actually playful. This guy's interest, he's a slob. Alright. He's clumsy. Alright. Compliment his outfit. Um. Discuss your interest with him. And tell a knock knock joke. Hopefully, you can see if this guy is a goofball because he's actually being very playful. So he might be. Tell a story. Do a knock knock joke. Joke about fashion. Um, joke about toilets. Yeah, he might be. It's an impression. If he's not, I'm going to be kind of upset. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Can we get to know you again? Here. Awesome. He's playful. We're both playful. So what if we do flash crazy eyes? Implicitly pester. Actually, he might not like that. Don't do that. No, I want you to <laughs> slap him silly. Flash crazy eyes. 
I'll walk away. Oh no. But we love you. Oh my god. Beautiful picture. Well, that sucks. We're gonna go home then and work out an adoption. We are home, so we didn't really find anything out today. We did meet some new people, which is cool. So we're gonna have her grab something to eat, maybe. And come watch the uh, romance channel, I guess. Monty's doing his homework. Courtney, why don't you invite Liberty over? Hopefully she isn't busy. Um, yeah, we have no one in mind for you, so why don't you start your homework too, unless you've done it already, which you haven't. You can invite uh, Jennifer over, actually, and gotta become closer friends with her, so chat with her, send her a text, and then invite her to hang out. Um, Arthur, go ahead and Liberty's busy. Do your homework. Well, since she's busy, but she's really not, we're going to chat with her. Send her a text. Chat with her. And then invite her back over. And then when you're done with that, I want you to come upstairs. You're pretty darn tired, so we'll have her go to sleep. Arthur, when you're done with your homework, go to sleep. Same for you. Could she come over? I didn't see the message pop up. Oh guys, look who's here. Looking strong and beautiful. Finally found that forever home. Very cute. Okay, we're going to. Um, oh my, I'm tired, guys. Okay. We'll have Kirsten invite Jennifer over now. She just slipped right by me. Alright, we'll come talk to her and maybe enthuse about her interest. And hit bump. There goes the timer. Um, talk about chicken bit, talk about school, talk about our favorite animal, and just do all those interactions. Mm, Bridget can stop watching TV, come take a shower. Monty, he's tired, so I'm gonna have him go to sleep actually. Turn this off. Okay. Very cute. Alright. Alright, Liberty's actually coming over too. Sweet. I'm going to try to get one of them adopted. So their friendship isn't there yet, but it will be. We're going to discuss interest with her. And get to know her. Then we'll have Chastity. I mean, not Chastity. Um, Courtney, come out here. Look, they even wear matching outfits. Like, that's cute, guys. It's a heartfelt compliment. Brighten her day, tell a goofy story, share a secret. We'll just do all those interactions. Are you going to repair this quickly? Then we'll head over to where Liberty lives. And I gotta find out actually where that is. So. Look how cute, guys. I know they don't have anything in common, but they just. Look at them, they're perfect. She doesn't look too happy there, but they're perfect, guys. Aww. That's so cute. Okay, hopefully we can fix this shower a little bit faster. Alright, and we will travel with, and I'll see you all there. Alright, so we are at Liberty's home. So, this is what it looks like. There's definitely room. There's three people living in this house, but there's two double beds, which means two of them probably sleep together, and um, 
Miss uh, Courtney can sleep in here. So, so we just have to seal the deal here. Let's um, just flatter her. I was gonna say head, but they don't have that relationship to do that. So we're gonna flatter her, and then we'll have um. Then I'll have Courtney come on over here and seal the freaking deal. Come hug her. Do it. Do it. I like your flip flops. Okay, we're gonna go give her a hug. Oh, guys, this is cute. Look how happy they are. Alright, guys, I'll pick it back up when she's in her house. So, yeah. Alright guys, so here is what it looks like. So let's just go over who's living in the house. Obviously Liberty here who has the nerd brain aspiration. She is a, oh that's cool, she's an astronaut. So she does have a job. So let's see what her relationships are like. So she doesn't like Anna. She likes the other Anna. Alright. How is she related to these people? I don't know. They just live together. They're best friends. That's their name. So they're all best friends. So um, she's geeky, comes a quick learner, and a bookworm. Then there's Travis Scott who lives here, and he has the computer with aspiration. He's a tech guru. Oh. Oh my god, there's another Liberty guys, and they're lovebirds and neighbors. How cute is that? Okay, that's cute, guys. That's really cute. Geek, outgoing, self assured, and quick learner. And then we have Summer, who is in here right now, but she's a friend of the world, and she's in the cooking career. And those are her friends. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Bob. Cheating with a co-worker? Oh, Liberty doesn't seem to have any, like, relationships with anyone. I just realized that. Okay. Well, let's go get her all situated. I like the kitchen, to be honest. Alright, can sleep in your room. I'll turn this off so she doesn't get distracted by her music when she goes to sleep. This is cute, guys. This is cute. Alright, guys, I'm going to end this part on this note. We actually need to give herself $3,000. Oh, wait, we're in the wrong house. Well, I'll do that next part. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I will see you all next time.